All right, so this is part two of the 1.1 pre-class video and worksheet. So in this section, we're going to talk about plotting equations on a graph um, by plotting points first. All right, so remember, when we're plotting on a graph, we're always wanting to use coordinates, coordinates x and y. <clears throat> so everything we use will be x comma y, where horizontally we have our x-axis, vertically we have our y-axis. Okay, so that means we need to rewrite this equation using x and y only. So the way that we can do that is by using a xy table. So we can have x, we can have y, where y is our equation, x plus 2. So that means we can choose whatever x values we want, plug them into y, and we'll have our coordinates. So I, I like to start with something easy like 0 or 1. So I'm starting with 0. So if x is 0, that means y has to be 0 plus 2. Okay. All right, let's come up with something else. Let's say maybe x equals 2. So if x is 2, y must be 2 plus 2. So it's 4. And then it's probably helpful if we also have something negative. So let's try negative 3. So if x is negative 3, y is going to be negative 3 plus 2, which is negative 1. So when you're doing this, these, you don't need to do a lot, just enough to find a pattern. And it's nice if you have what's happening at 0, what's happening on the positive side of the x-axis, as well as what's happening on the negative side of the x-axis. That should help. Okay, so all of these correspond to points, so it may help if we rewrite these so that they look like x comma y. So our first piece, the x value is 0. and the y value is 2. So we have the point 0, 2. Next piece, x is 2, y is 4. And then we have x is negative 3, y is negative 1. And so we can plot these all on our graph. OK, so we are now pros at plotting things. All right, so we have x is 0, y is 2. That's going to happen right here. I'll go ahead and label it so we know exactly where everything is. Then we have 2, 4. I'll label that as well. Again, if I'm going too fast, make sure you pause or go back so you can review some things. And then we have negative 3, negative 1. All right, so now we can figure out what this equation looks like just by connecting our dots. All right, so does our graph stop here? Well, of course not. We could have plugged in bigger numbers like 4 and bigger or smaller numbers like negative 4 or smaller. So this actually continues out. So we'll put arrows here to say our graph is going to continue going out even more. Okay, so we've just graphed the equation y equals x plus 2. That's this equation or this graph. All right, so let's look at the next example. Number four, y minus the absolute value of x minus one. So already we can see these two problems are different. There are two big differences. One is the fact that we have an absolute value here. So what does that mean for us? Well, whatever x is, positive or negative, is gonna give us a positive answer. But the big thing I want you to notice is that the first example was y equals something. This one is not y equals something. So how are we going to figure out what x and y are if we don't know what y is going to be? Well, all we have to do is actually solve for y. And we can solve for y here just by adding the absolute value of x to both sides. So I'm going to add the absolute value of x to both sides, which will tell us that y equals negative 1 plus the absolute value of x. 
perfect. Now we know exactly what to put in our XY table. We know what uh, points to plot. So let's say we have X, we have Y, which is negative 1 plus the absolute value of X. I'm actually going to do quite a few points here because this one's not as straightforward of a graph. <clears throat> so again, I like to start with 0. So when X is 0, Y is negative 1 plus the absolute value of 0, which is just negative 1. All right, let's go with 1 next. Got 0 here. 2. Got one. And let's do one more. Let's do three. <clears throat> so one thing that we can notice is that everything we're plugging in is in the absolute value. So if we were to plug in the negatives of these numbers, we would get the exact same answer. Let's plug in negative one, negative two, and negative three and see what happens. Got the same thing as plugging in 1. All right, and so again, these all correspond to points on the graph where we have an x axis and we also have a y axis. So I'm going to go ahead and write these so that they actually look like points. Oops, forgot my arrow. And then we're going to plot them, and then we're going to graph our equation. All right, maybe I'll use a different color. I have a lot of green here. Okay, so we got 0 and negative 1 down here. Then we got 1, 0. Then we got 2, 1. Okay, we see how this is coming along. Uh, 3, 2, then on the negative side, we have what, negative 1 and 0, negative 2 and 1, I don't know if you can read those, and then negative 3 and 2. All right, let's connect these. We'll pretend that we drew these well. All right, so it makes this little V, but again, we could have plugged in even more numbers and gotten out answers. So this graph continues. So this is the graph of the equation y minus the absolute value of x equals negative one.